<laughs> I'm going to get to the news. President Biden on Thursday delivered a rare primetime address from Philadelphia's Independence Hall, and not, as I originally thought, the upside down? <laughs> that is a wild lighting choice. I kept expecting him to be interrupted by Vecna. <laughs> President Biden traveled to Pittsburgh yesterday, which was his third trip to Pennsylvania in less than a week. Not to be outdone, Dr. Oz also made his third trip to Pennsylvania. <laughs> Election day is nine weeks away, and only time will tell if Republicans gain seats or if it was rigged. <laughs> President Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden are set to host the Obamas on Wednesday at the White House for the unveiling of their official portraits. And you can tell Biden misses the old days because this is his official portrait. Maine Senator Susan Collins said in a new interview that she believes that Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer will get a vote on same-sex marriage protections this month, but added that she hopes he will, quote, resist the urge to play politics with the bill. It's the Senate. It's all politics. That's <laughs> like saying you hope the Jets resist the urge to play football. Okay, Jets... <laughs> Jets is a bad example, but you get the point. During his speech in Wisconsin yesterday, President Biden said that not every Republican is, quote, a MAGA Republican, which is a little like saying that not every zombie eats brains. Maybe, <laughs> but they also don't mind if the other zombies eat your brain. <laughs> Two Air France pilots were suspended recently after a physical fight in the cockpit during a flight. The fight was reportedly so intense that one of them dropped his cigarette. <laughs> New... New footage of the Titanic wreckage was recently released in the highest screen resolution currently available. They zoomed in as far as they could, and bad news, you guys, no survivors. <laughs> well, we know now. It's high resolution, so we know now. You know what would be worse? A survivor. Oh. <laughs> A large spill of Alfredo sauce recently shut down an interstate highway in Tennessee. Well, it wouldn't be the first time Alfredo sauce clogged a major artery. <laughs> now, we're, we're, you know, when we read a story like that, we're worried, obviously, that our monologue writers caused the accident. According to New York State Park officials, hundreds of people at Long Island beaches over the weekend were stung by jellyfish. At least, I assume that's why they were all peeing on each other. <laughs> that's my assumption. And finally, rapper Eminem won an Emmy Award over the weekend and now just needs a Tony Award to achieve so-called EGOT status. So look for him this fall in Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> FBI agents reportedly found a document while searching former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence that detailed a foreign country's nuclear capabilities. Even crazier, it was Luxembourg. <laughs> former President Obama returned today to the White House. Oh, God, it must have been like one of those videos where a dog's owner returns from the war. <laughs> Joe, Joe, I'm happy to see you, too. All right, get down, Joe, get down. Former Trump strategist Steve Bannon is reportedly expected to turn himself in to New York State prosecutors tomorrow to face a criminal indictment. And if he's convicted, he could actually find himself, for the first time, sleeping indoors. <laughs> During a White House coronavirus briefing yesterday, Dr. Anthony Fauci said that COVID vaccines will likely become annual, like flu shots or, you know, mask wearing. In a new interview, Hillary Clinton said that she started wearing pantsuits in the 90s while she was first lady after a Brazilian ad agency used a photo of her wearing a skirt in a lingerie campaign. And I don't think I need to tell you who was the first to notice. Hey, Hillary, you're in a magazine! <laughs> it was reported yesterday the Pennsylvania Senate candidate Dr. Mehmet Oz once said in an interview that incest is, quote, not a big problem if you're more than a first cousin away. 
Replied the interviewer, oh, my question was about tax policy. <laughs> According to a new survey, 16% of Americans said that they share and track locations with their friends and family, though honestly, a lot of them do now regret that. <laughs> Should we check out where Uncle Tom is? <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin returned from the Senate's August recess yesterday with his right sling, right arm in a sling, but that's also his right sling. <laughs> West Virginia Senator. Oh. oh, it's coming off the rails. <laughs> West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin returned from the Senate's August recess yesterday with his right arm in a sling. Well, now we know how Biden got his climate bill passed. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we ordered this with a neck. You know the Biden picture. Rapper Snoop Dogg has announced that he's releasing a new breakfast cereal <laughs> called Snoop Loops. And if you thought your kids fought over the prize before. <laughs> no, it didn't have a prize. New York's education chancellor, David Banks, confirmed yesterday that public school students will not get snow days this year. When asked why, he said, because it's 91 degrees in September. <laughs> and finally, Target recently issued a recall for white fudge animal cookies because they potentially contain metal wire. Even worse, apparently they also contain white fudge. <laughs> At the White House ceremony, for the unveiling of former President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama's official portraits, President Biden said Obama was one of the, quote, most consequential presidents in our history. That is true, said the consequence. <laughs> New York Governor Kathy Hochul announced yesterday that masks will be optional on public transportation. This comes almost 18 months after passengers made the same announcement. <laughs> what? Starting today, okay. <laughs> Former Trump strategist Steve Bannon turned himself in to New York authorities today to face state criminal charges. Well, the good news is I'm positive this man knows how to make toilet wine. <laughs> the White House announced that President Biden will travel to Boston on Monday to speak about his initiative to end cancer, because if there's one thing we've learned from Boston, anything is possible. <laughs> He got her back! <laughs> Democratic Senate candidate John Fetterman agreed yesterday to debate Republican Dr. Mehmet Oz. Apparently, he's trying to get under Oz's skin by making him drive back to Pennsylvania. <laughs> Put it in Google Maps. <laughs> That's right, Democratic Senate candidate John Fetterman agreed yesterday to debate Republican Dr. Mehmet Oz. We're not sure when, so... Here's a clip from Punch Out to tide you over. <laughs> According to the latest numbers, the average American life expectancy has fallen to 76.1 years old, but don't tell that to the 2024 election. <laughs> hey, we're both above average. We are, it's true, we're both a little bit better than average. According to new research, ocean water in the Northern Hemisphere has been unusually warm. Sorry, said this kid. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't know what the face would be, but that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> According to a new book, former President Trump once tried to pay for an attorney's legal fees with a horse. Not Rudy, though, when it was... <laughs> Time to pay Rudy, Trump said. Does anyone have change for a pigeon? <laughs> so we wanted to pay him with less than a pigeon. He wanted change. He didn't want to pay Rudy a full pigeon. 
He needed change for a pigeon to then give him slightly less than one pigeon's worth. No one said I did a full pigeon's worth. And finally, officials in Nigeria recently seized 16 sacks filled with thousands of donkey penises that were set to be illegally exported to Hong Kong. The mistake? Bringing them as a carry-on. <laughs> you know what the great thing about that joke is? It doesn't answer any of the questions I have about the news story. <laughs> we just all assume the audience would be like, uh-huh, cool, 16,000 donkey penises. Of course, you'd want those. I have no follow-ups. Just get to the joke, please. <laughs> that was a monologue, everybody. <laughs>